Hello everybody, this is Boaz Faller, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the, ooh, the 9th and the 16th of February 2019. So, are you feeling bubbly? Are you feeling that simmering coming up from inside? Are you feeling that lava, you know, growing within you? Do you feel change? Do you feel newness in your life? Do you feel the upgrade? Is it becoming too unstable for you? Do you crave for a little tranquility? Do you crave for a little harmony? Do you crave for a pace that isn't so fast, that isn't so traumatically fast even sometimes because there's so many changes happening. It's like you want to get used and, 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 and you want to get used to the first change and the second one is already there. It's like an upgrade after a change, after an upgrade, after a change of direction. And it's messy. But at these times, as I say, don't look for stability, look for an upgrade. So we're having this bubbly feeling on the one hand this feeling of immediacy, this feeling of necessity to step forward in our life, and we're intolerant about that. That's the Mars-Uranus conjunction that is coming up, squaring the nodes. It's not a Mars-Uranus conjunction, it's an Aries-Mars-Uranus conjunction, and the Moon is joining in this week. So it's going to be a happy, happy, joyful time. Just being cynical, it's a combustive time, it's a dynamite, it's a time that we could be fierce in our rebelliousness, in our need to step forward whether other people adapt or not, you know. Our pace could be traumatic for other people and the same goes for other people with us. We have to be extra sensitive this week. And remember that all throughout this year, we're having a um, master class from the universe with our shadow work in the form of this, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, Saturn-Pluto conjunction on the South Node, on the Dragon's Tail. So all our unfinished business, things connecting to family, uh, uh, maternal lineage, and, and karma are coming back up in order for us to unveil them and look at them again, understand them better, you know. Are you dealing with your shadows yet? Are you dancing with your demons yet? Do you see your dirt coming up to the surface and hitting you in the face? If the answer is no, then you're doing something wrong. <laughs> if the answer is yes, Breathe in and know that you are on the correct path for transformation and development. Transformation and development. I hope you like the background music that I put in. <laughs> so yeah, I can definitely feel it, you know, facing my fears, facing my anxieties, facing my post-traumas, peeling off all these layers. Life is like an onion. You peel a layer in, you cry, but when you put it in your mouth and remember how it tastes, well, it's a bit spicy, but more than everything sweet, you know? Peel those layers off. Let yourself cry. Let yourself change. Look for an upgrade. But be patient with other people around you. Be patient with other people around you. So that is happening in the sky. And when Mars is squaring the nodes as it is during this week, it's, you know, I call it going through um, uh, near straits. You know, it's like narrow straits. It's like everything has been leading you. Your actions have been leading you. Your needs and identity has been leading you to this point. There's no other way. You need to pass between those narrow columns. And it's frightening and it brings up anxiety and anger and tension. And the water is actually bubbling underneath your ship. It's simmering. 
And when you're in there, you don't even know what's on the other side. How the world looks on the other side. Your horizon have not opened up yet. Have not opened up yet to see that new world, new day, new sun, new light. This is all just speculation happening here. Examination. Exploration. Uranian. Aquarian energy in the sky. But as we walk through them, as our actions, our immediate needs, our Mars turns into, when, it's, when it squares the nodes, it turns into something that has a long-term effect. Our actions come up to a critical mass, a time of a critical mass, and have this uh, um, effect on the rudders of our ship. It turns us into a different direction. It has this influence. And then, one once we've gone through these straits, once we've gone through that tension, that challenge, things open up into a new ocean. And the challenge is behind us. But all through this week, this isn't happening yet. Things are going to heighten until the supermoon in the 19th. Things are going to be more bubbly. Things are going to be hotter and more emotional and during this week we have to take an approach that is a little bit more logical and calculated and sees things in a more holistic strategic viewpoint and puts things in you know in place and in proportion and doesn't get caught up in the emotional drama of the moment however do allow yourselves to be flexible and as I said last week, boldly go where you've never taken yourself before. This is the time for change. Think outside the box. Genius. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. This is the time for you to break through. And if they ask you who, you break through. Um, so... Monday night, Tuesday is a bit more calm. We have the moon in Taurus. It's a fun time to enjoy yourself, be more sensual, sexual, eat, drink, love, take care of your garden, cook, great things like that. Um, being a Taurus, great things like that. Um, Wednesday, we have the exact conjunction, 29 Aries, Uranus, Mars, getting together having a ball, especially watch yourselves on the roads, watch yourself working at home all through this week, but especially on Wednesday, watch your intolerance and impulsivity and take a little slower paced. A little slower paced, also watch what you say. During the 13th, we have the square to Mercury that day as well. Thursday, things are coming down slowly as Mars ingresses into Taurus, takes a much slower pace, is more interested in satisfaction and harmony and enjoying himself. It's not as fighty as as male oriented as it was before. There's fi finally some femininity coming in. It, that Mars really needed a woman's touch. Anyway, Friday talk about energy it's a sensitive day so be careful not to hurt other people or or get hurt yourself but it's full of energy so if you need to 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 harness you know the universe's uh, um, amplifier and get a lot of things done it's a wonderful day to get a lot of things done it's a wonderful day for any kind of physical activity I just want to add that Tuesday is a wonderful day for business it's a great day for Tuesday the 12th. It's a great day also for um, taking important long-term strategic, strategic things forward or asking for that raise. Um, just don't be um, obnoxious when you don't get it, okay? If you don't get it. Don't fight with your boss. <laughs> um, and 
And Saturday is a great day to spend at home with family or with good friends that you feel like are your alternative family. And be more careful with authority figures. <coughs> On February 18th, we're having the Venus-Saturn conjunction. Venus in charge of our value, self-value, relationships, how we draw in funds and satisfaction is hitting Saturn and Saturn doesn't give up about what we want or wish for and it checks everything it checks the way we treat our bodies do we treat them respectably do we treat them uh, responsibly how are we making our value what are we worth what are our relationships worth and if they're not really worth anything they're going to peel off and if they are, they're going to get strengthened so we could build more upon them. So this is a time of a trial for ourselves, the way we treat our bodies, the way we draw in value and our relationships. We need to be more responsible and understand that we could be a little too judgmental and sober. I'm sorry, too judgmental and somber throughout this, this period. And we could take things a little more easily and with a much, uh, with a little more light and optimism in our thoughts and actions. But nevertheless, this is not a time to shy away from reality. Saturn has a tendency of showing us how things really are, not how we wanted them to be. So if things do come up and you realize, Saturnian word, realize, Things are really not the way you wanted them to be. They're just the way they are. Deal with it. Don't shy away with it. From it. Deal with it. Okay? Work with it. Grow up. Mature. Take responsibility. And realign. Saturn is not about what we want. It's about realignment. It's about educating ourselves to be better people. For who? For ourselves. <laughs> Why? Because we recognize how important our past experience is. That's Saturn speaking. So, I just remind you that we're going to have this buildup of energy up to the 19th, the full moon, super moon. And enjoy it. I mean, we're 70% water. And we're talking about emotion and we're talking about passion and we're talking about all of these things. You know, when a full moon is in the sky, there's more passion and envy and feeling and more murders and, and violence and, and, and we bleed more in operation rooms. Everything is heightened. So don't be too melodramatic, but enjoy it. Remember, you have two choices about this time. You could either ride this wave to new shores or you could be tumbled in it like you are in a washing machine. What do you choose? With that, if you want to join our groups, private lessons, or of course have a private consultation with me, be sure to contact me. I want to thank you for listening. And on behalf of Absent Georgia and myself, she's sleeping, I want to wish you all live long and prosper.